outside of the Orthodox community, outside of that community where Jews are proud to be Jews and are observing Jewish laws or whatever it is, but put Yarmulke or whatever they do, outside of that community, you have the rest of the Jewish community, which is the most of them, of course. Some have been gone, assimilated totally, and then there are the others, the ones what you call American Jews, the majority of them. In state after state, temple after temple, what I saw and what I witnessed was a nightmare. You see rabbis, or so-called rabbis, leaders, supposedly leaders, standing at the podium, and all they can tell to the listeners is that Israel is an apartheid state, and that Judaism is racism. That's what they preach you. Over and over and over again. I'll give you one example I'll share with you in St. Paul. When there was an afternoon in Sunday, the congregation is invited to a talk, a schmooze or whatever, about racism. I thought it's about anti-Semitism. Well, not. It's about blacks and whites. It's about racism against blacks. Very nice, no problem. There are people on the panel, or liberals, or so-called liberals, and like in any normal liberal event, there must be at least one black person. You know that? You have been to those parties? And of course, there was a black lady there. And she happened to be the key speaker. And she goes to the podium and she talks. She says she's Jewish by choice. And she tells the people that since she has become Jewish, she found out really what it means to be Jewish. Israel is an apartheid state. Jews are racist, just as I told you. And the Jews listening to this clap. What a beautiful thing she said. When we see it and you watch it, you can't believe it. Even the segments that you heard before. I'll share with you something that's not in the book. On Samantha Power, then U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, stood at the podium talking to 1,000 Jews. All educated, dressed well, looked like they are doing well. And she told them that the United, a message from President Obama and she said that the United, Nation, the United States will always stand by Israel and the United Nations, will always fight anti-Semitism in the UN, and the relations, relationship between America and Israel is unshakable. Three Jews applaud. Then comes to the stage Ayman Uda from the Joint List, Arab-Israeli Knesset member. And he says, Israel must observe the Nakba, the catastrophe day, when Jews came to the land and killed innocent Palestinians in the thousands, the murderous Jews. And 1,000 Jews got up in a huge standing ovation and they applauded him for five minutes say something against the Jews and they will applaud. Next to me in St. Paul was a Lutheran, a guest from a Lutheran church. I said to her, what are you doing here? She told me she wanted to find other Jews deal with race issues. I say, what did you find? Said the Jews are racist as well. Racist Jews. She brings the message over. Place by place by place. I'm interviewing in Berkeley University, UC Berkeley, a state university, the best state university in the United States of America. I'm interviewing the chancellor. Next to us sit the press person of the university, a Jew. 
I talk about, with the Chancellor, about all kinds of things. For example, I come to universities, almost half of the students I see are Asian, and you're such a liberal university, how come I hardly see blacks here? And he explained to me that the Asians are 40%, blacks are 3%, <laughs> the whole thing. And then I told him, okay, everything went well. And then I asked him, I said to him, I spoke with some American Jewish, I mean, with some Jewish students here. And they told me they are afraid to speak about Israel because if their fellow students knew that they support Israel, they would not talk to, they would be boycotted. They would not talk to them anymore. And I wanted the chancellor to give a comment on that. The Jew sitting next to us got very upset and he started screaming at me. If I knew that you would have been asking this question, I would never, ever have allowed you to be here. That's the Jew. Over and over and over again, when you see some anti-Jewish thing, if you dig deep, deep, and put a lens, a magnifying lens, to see who is behind it, over and over you'll find a Jew. So this and that's frightening. And this is the last call, I would say, to us Jews. It's time we wake up. Uh, so this, Tobia...